first we should know different plot types okay, basically it is you know, divided into two types according to arrival and according to the period of the plot first one is flash plots second is irreversible plots flash plots means it occurs when heavy rainfall persists only for a short time period okay and it causes major damage and death due to sudden arrival so these plots causes sudden uh, arrival okay uh, sudden rainfall <coughs> it may be due to this dam burst due to overflow of the dam due to the flash uh, this uh, cloud burst okay this type of flood may occur and it causes major damage like in uttarakhand uh, flood okay that uh, causes heavy damage and death of uh, that loss of life okay so it occurs for short time period and it uh, happen it uh, arrive very suddenly river in floods okay it occurs when water rises above its natural banks upon caused by prolonged and heavy precipitation river in days weeks and months to rise it maximum and return to normal and much longer than uh, it takes for flash flood so drainage for uh, it occur gradually these floods occur gradually in the river whenever there will be rainfall means during monsoon season the rainfall the water in the river increases gradually so when uh, it becomes more means uh, water rainfall will be more the water uh, overflows from the banks and it causes floods and then, therefore it uh, it comes gradually and it remains for a few weeks or days or months okay so uh, so this flood uh, causes less damage and less this loss of death uh, compared to this flash floods major one flood severity and six categories are there to measure the flood severity in a region one is the depth of flow duration of flow velocity of flow rate of rise of water frequency of flood means how often the floods occur in an area which greatly depends upon the topography and climate seasonality means the time of area in which flood often occurs okay so these are the different categories to measure the flood severity in a region next is the structural measures okay there is structural measures to control flood and there is non structural measures to control flood so first let's discuss about the structures which are constructed to control the flood so first one is embankments flood walls and sea walls embankments that we know that is constructed along the river okay and by constructing this uh, embankments the depth of the river increases and the channel carrying capacity increases so the flood water takes time to uh, to overflow from this bank okay next is flood wall it is kind of written wall constructed parallel to the river like here in this picture the it is like retaining wall it is constructed along the river just to protect a city or town or the village okay nearby area uh, so that uh, it, it can channel carrying capacity increases okay and it's uh, the flood uh, uh, will, will take time to become peak or to overflow from the banks and sea walls are constructed in sea source okay sea shore area for protecting sea banks from soil erosion due to wave action so in the sea there is wave action and that wave action causes erosion of the banks and sea walls are constructed just to protect okay to protect this soil uh, erosion protect from the this area from soil erosion next is dams and reservoirs we know the dams are constructed to store some water okay and it is constructed in the upstream of an area means the area which we are going to protect okay and it can store some water if it can uh, before rainfall or before we if we have data about uh, if we can predict the rainfall if we can predict the discharge how much water is uh, going to uh, have in the river in the uh, near time then we can so release some water to the downstream we can release some water to the downstream so that we can have some space in the reservoir which can store some water whenever there will be heavy rainfall okay therefore so uh, prediction is carried out in the monsoon season how much rainfall is going to happen 
and how much water is going to have in the river. So uh, accordingly, the reservoir is kept empty so that some water it can store. So by constructing the dams and the reservoirs, it can reduce the peak of the flood, okay, peak discharge in the river. So that controls the controls the flood. Next is the natural retention basin. Natural retention basin means in the ponds, wetlands, in the basin that can be natural or that can be artificial. Okay, the ponds can store some water. The wetlands means wetlands in the area which is in the, along this uh, this nearby this uh, um, uh, roads. Okay, the low lying areas near the wood roads that uh, carry some water. Okay, whenever and fall occur, and that also can uh, reduce the flood to some extent. Next is channel improvement. Channel improvement means the river turning works. Okay, in the river plain, there uh, there may be urbanization. Okay, there may be industrialization in the river plain, and the river bed there may be vegetation. So you have to remove all this. Uh, we have to maintain that river, river uh, we have to remove the vegetation in the river bed and we have to remove the this urbanization, we have to stop the urbanization okay, in the river plain. If you can stop that urbanization, then a river can be maintained, its slope can be maintained, its geometry can be maintained, its depth can be maintained, its wide can be maintained. Okay? So we have to increase the wide, its depth, its slope. It should be maintained so that velocity can be maintained and if velocity is if velocity is sufficient the water can discharge quickly water can flow quickly to the sea okay so uh, if water can uh, pass quickly then it can reduce the flood peak so this channel improvement or river training works actually helps in controlling the flood next is drainage improvement in the city or the town, there may be congestion, okay? And that congestion or before and fall, that we have to clear. If there will be a congestion, then there will be water logging in the city and that causes temporary flood, okay? And that is called artificial flood or temporary flood in the city. So before and fall occur, we have to remove or we have to clear all the congestions, okay? So that freely the water can flow towards the downstream. Next is diversion of flood waters. Uh, in the diversion means some water will divert from the uh, this river, uh, or whether before and maybe after this rainfall or before rainfall, we have to, we have to divert some water. Uh, like weirs are constructed and the viarages are constructed so that some water can be diverted to the canal area, to the trough area whenever, uh, wherever, there is no water, there is shortage of water, okay? So this is about diversion of flood waters. So all these diversion structures are constructed like, uh, okay, like various years, uh, here I discussed about this dams, reservoirs, and all these embankments, flood walls, sea walls, okay? And uh, this drainage improvement, river training works, all these things are called structural measures to control flood. Next is non-structural measures. Non-structural measures, land use regulations. Okay, we have to uh, fix a rule for the land use. Land use means the whether it's vegetation or the cropland or the urbanization that we have to uh, fix a rule. Means we have to restrict the, okay, restrict the urbanization. As we know that the, if there is urbanization, the flood peak increases and the base time decreases. Okay, it becomes skewed. Okay, the flood, this hydrograph skew that we discussed in the hydrograph chapter, uh, the effect of these uh, factors on this shape of this uh, hydrograph. And if there will be vegetation, if we, we can reduce the this uh, urbanization, then the flood peak decreases and the base time increases. Because if there will be vegetation, if there will be forest land, then filtration will be more. The loss from the rainfall will be more. The runoff, uh, the runoff will be less. Okay, but in case of urbanization, there will be the roads, uh, paka roads means like uh, this bitumen roads, concrete roads, buildings. So the whatever rainfall will occur, they, uh, the all will convert to into this uh, runoff. 
and the runoff coefficient increases runoff if runoff increases then water will quickly uh, come to this uh, river and that's why the plot peak increases suddenly and the base time will be very low very less okay so that causes flood like uh, flood occur in 2015 chennai uh, like flood occur in kerala flood occur in 2005 in the uh, mumbai 2013 flood in mumbai all these floods means these are the due to this urbanization okay so we have to uh, pick the regulation we have to regulate the land we also okay that is one non structural measures to control flood next is flood forecasting and warning flood forecasting means if you can forecast the flood if you can predict the rainfall and we can we can predict the flood then the reservoir operation can be done efficiently okay if we know that this much of flood is coming to the river then the uh, we can release some water to the downstream we can have some space in the reservoir so that it can store some rainfall water so the flood peak it reduces it can be reduced so that uh, is a major there is a structure non structural measures measure to control flood so if we can forecast the flood we can control the flood okay and the flood proofing flood proofing means if the flood proofing houses are constructed okay they are in this house there will be sub grade basement in the basement there will be space to uh, so that it can store some flood water and the uh, the first floor of this uh, house will be little above from the ground level okay so that uh, the flood water cannot reach to the wall of the uh, house okay so this this type of houses are necessary it is constructed in the flood prone area next is emergency preparedness and response and recovery emergency preparedness means we have to uh, means the response uh, teams will should be there okay like your ndrf team is there just if there will be breach in the river if there will be breach in the canal okay breach in the river means that bank uh, breach and then it can be restored suddenly okay if we have prepared we have response team uh, like ndrf we have okay that also reduces the flood uh, to some extent okay so these are the uh, measures non structural measures that control the flood okay so next class we'll discuss about river training works so for this uh, today uh, this much thank you thank you so much